Welcome to DWorks everyone. So today in this tutorial series I will be showing you the procedure I use for modeling and rendering exterior scenes using CAD, SketchUp and Lumion. So sit tight and follow along and take your exterior renderings a step further. And if you're new to this channel and if you like my content, you find my content useful then please do like, subscribe and share my videos. And also to all my subscribers, I love you all. Thank you. So, to start off with, I've got a AutoCAD plan with me over here, as you can see. So we're going to extract the planning bit from here and export it to SketchUp and then eventually model the entire model in SketchUp and do the texturing and rendering in Lumion. So yes, so the part one is going to be using CAD and SketchUp only and for those of you who are confident in modeling in SketchUp or using CAD, I would expect you to skip to the other part where the Lumion bit is involved, which is part two and part three, where I'll be introducing you to the Lumion interface, uh, render settings and materials and texturing, lighting, etc. All right, let's get into it. So in order to start off with, you'll first have to look at your plan. So this is a plan I got from my client and he asked me to do an exterior for this building. He, he's got an elevation drawn a front elevation but he did not agree with this elevation so, so the person who made this elevation has not been able to impress the client so he wants a change in elevation but we can think of that later so what we have to think of or extract from the CAD file is the flow plans which is this too so it's a G plus one building so I'm first gonna select that so you've with the blue screen just select the entire both plans then C O enter. You can use space bars enter in CAD by the way. Yeah, copy that outside so that we have a so we, we do not destroy the original planning. Uh, so for now, I'm going to speed up the process. You, you're going to have to clean up the entire file. So you'll have to erase that, that, that. <coughs> Sorry about that. <coughs> On the windows the sections so we'll have to clean up the entire file so I'm gonna speed up the process and I'll see you once the file is cleaned up so I have my file cleaned up now you must be wondering that I have nothing inside yes I do not have anything inside for the simple reason being I do not want to be modeling what's inside the house or what's inside the building because we are concentrating currently on the exterior part so I'm interested in keeping just the shell in order to save time in modeling so if you if you're it's it's basic thing I've already mentioned this in my previous videos when you're working as a 3d designer and when you're working towards a particular project for example you're doing something on the exterior part of the building where you cannot most probably see most part of the interior bits you do not have to actually worry about the interior parts of the building unless and until the entire project requires you to do the exterior and the interior so which is why and for this project I do not need any interior views he just wants probably yeah angular a view from certain angle from this side or from the left and left hand side so I'll have to cover these two faces or these two faces either one of them and I've got windows on both sides so yeah you can manipulate them to look realistic in Lumion without touching any uh, interior parts I mean it's just to save time on your modeling bit so yeah, I've corrected my, a few things. I've deleted the window lines. I've deleted these lines, the dotted lines, because it's very hard for a sketcher to read sometimes. And I've made everything as continuous lines, which is another good habit. Otherwise, you'll end up with a lot of you know mistakes in SketchUp while modeling, and you'll come across certain challenges in SketchUp. So I've deleted the entire interior bit, even the stairs, and uh, the, all the writings and things like that all the measurements everything is cleaned up so this is your cleanup file now how do you take this to sketch up and snap it to zero 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 the origin point so there's a there's a very easy trick to do that in CAD itself so you'll have to place your model that you've ex extracted from here these 2d this 2d plan you'll have to place it in the origin of CAD itself 
so that you can place that in SketchUp directly in the origin. So how do you do that? So I'm going to first extract, sorry, this plan from here. So click on W enter, then you'll get this right block option. Then select objects, select both the plans, space bar. After that, select the location. So file name and path. And let me just set that quickly. <coughs> What is it? Huh. So name that as SketchUp Model File, for example. Yeah. Save that as a DXF 2000. Yeah. Save that as a DXF. Okay. Set your units. For, for example, I'm particularly working on. So this file came in as inches. I mean feet and inches so I'm going to select inches from here because I've selected feet early on and it didn't work out quite well in SketchUp so and so I'm going to keep it as inches for now and see whether this works out fine in SketchUp so click on OK yeah your block is already written on a separate file so let's go back to that file and why is that why is that mm. open the DXF file select the entire thing M enter snap on that edge there then 0 comma 0 comma 0 enter so now your entire plan has gone has moved to the origin in AutoCAD so now that I have that resave that again so save as again DXF overwrite that save there yes yeah that's saved for now and close that file so you're not interested in this file anymore <coughs> and click that and also he's asking you to basically save it as a DWG format I'm not gonna do that so just click on no over there it's not a big deal all right so the CAD part is done hopefully you understood the CAD part so that's what is involved in the CAD part you, sh you need to understand what to include and what not for example I have not included the window inner lines I can get the measurements off here if required so I've just excluded the window measurements over here this is the outer uh, the boundary lines of the windows otherwise it can cause some problems while modeling in SketchUp so this is the CAD part now let's move on to uh, the SketchUp and see how you can uh, export I mean sorry import the the CAD file that we just saved so so when you open up SketchUp actually I have it in millimeters I need to change the units over here so let's new from template click on architectural inches yeah let's go with that first delete that then click on file import go to the go to that file wherever you've located that way wherever you saved it uh, I've saved it here change that to DXF and there you go and click on import so you'll read that file, close that, ta-da! So first off, before you do anything, you need to have a look at the measurements, whether they're exactly the same as your CAD file or not. So if you just click on T and then left click on that, move that with holding shift and middle mouse, you can pan through that and then click on that again. Just, just You don't have to click on that, just place your uh, cursor on there you'll see that it shows 30 feet so now you're gonna look back at CAD and check whether it's actually 30 feet or not so open up CAD again the main plan and see I've got the measurement uh, down here already so that's 30 feet so it perfectly matches our CAD file so we can now proceed with our model so since it has come in as a group from CAD over here we're gonna first start off uh, with the columns and walls so in order to start off, it's it's a it's in a group format at the moment. It's in a block now at the moment. So in order to enter the block, a group, a component, component. The difference between let me just explain before I get into that. So the difference between uh, component and group is that group can be copied without copying the characteristics of that particular model. Whereas components. If you create a particular model as a component, you will carry on the characteristics and it's basically instancing in 3ds, the way you do instancing in 3ds Max 
and other uh, rendering softwares or 3D modeling softwares. So that's the difference between components and groups. Groups does not carry over the characteristics of a particular model when you copy them, whereas components carry over the characteristics of the uh, particular model. So you can access them from here, make component, make group, you can access them like that. If you create a particular model, you can make that into a component and you can make that into a group if you'd like. So now, in here, we're gonna double click on that, left click, double left double click on that and get into that. So to start off with, click on R, snap to that point, shift pan and drag it down here, left click on that. Yes, you will have some points missing for sure. That's a very normal thing in SketchUp, do not worry. So in order to fill those gaps up, draw a few rectangles, E for erase, left click again to erase those unnecessary points. R again. So yeah, that's how you build up the scene. So you, you, you're building up the base at the moment. So I'm just gonna create a rectangle there, yeah. So now I'm gonna create the first floor as well before I start the 3D model. Click on the link popping up in the middle of the screen in order to get to the next part of this tutorial series.